Hello everybody and welcome to Ring of Titans. This is a brand new arena style game. Uh, it's almost exactly like WoW Arena. Don't make no mistake, it's just WoW Arena. Um, however, there's no grind, no gear, no levels, no fuss. This game is super fantastic and I'm making a video because I'm in love with it. And I, I wanna see more people play this game. And if you're just tuning in, you've never seen the game before, or you're wanting to see it for the first time, welcome. So the first thing you'll want to know is there are Titans. These are the game's classes. Uh, Volan is a rogue. We have Kana, who is priest. We have Azora, who is a mage. We have Tarkza, which is a warrior. We have Maura, my fave, which is the warlock. And then we have Arion, the druid, and Turhun, which is the hunter. You'll note that each of these classes has talents. Uh, you can pick two of each. So like in my class talents, you'll see that I run Death Wish, which gives me 50 health whenever I use Death or um, Death Witch, which is Mortal Coil. Uh, and then I also have Gain Shadow Armor, when used, reduces all damage taken by 20%. So basically, that's just so I have an extra defensive cooldown. Uh, over in our general talents, I run Chain Breaker. This is literally just Trinket cc remover uh and then i have enhanced power since it is a warlock to give me increased damage for those extra aggressive moments um what's cool is you have the training area basically you're going to be put into an area uh where there's a bunch of training dummies around uh including allies if you need to heal and you can just kind of go over to these you can click them and uh practice your rotation make sure your buttons are how you want them um, you'll see that the UI does a really good job, tells you their class, tells you their debuffs, their remaining health, their name, all that fun stuff, which is completely customizable, by the way. If we head over to the settings, you'll see, like, look at all these things that you can mess with. Their scaling, whether it shows their color, their cast bar, their buffs and debuffs, all that fun stuff for every unit frame. Every unit frame is independent. Um, if you go over here, you can actually unlock the unit frames as well, and you'll see that you can actually move this stuff. Like, I can just take this and move it around. I can move my target around, everything. And then, when everything is right where you uh, nice and want it, which as you'll see, I go for that classic WoW style frame, you just go back into your, uh, into your settings and you can relock that in place. And now, whenever you are clicking on stuff, it's not gonna move around on you, as you can see. Uh, hotkeys, just as what you would expect, completely customizable. I'm not sure what this is. Oh, this is my focus. So normally I don't have a focus, which is why it's in a weird spot, so don't worry about that. However, since I don't have a partner, we're not gonna do any twos uh, in this video. What we're gonna do instead is we're gonna do some 1v1s so you guys can see what the game is like and uh, have a little bit of fun. Because if you hit play, you'll see here, there is dueling versus bots. There's 2v2 versus bots and 3v3s versus bots. Uh, but also versus players as well. You've got dual 2v2, 3v3. You'll see that each one has a rating. And, fun fact, your rating is independent on each class. If you're a really high rating on a warlock, if you switch to a druid, your rating is completely different. Which, for a lot of people, that's amazing because it means, excuse me, that whenever they switch classes, they don't have to worry about screwing over their mains rating or, you know, have to practice against really difficult players. So let's go ahead and uh, queue up in a duel real quick. So I'm a warlock. Let's see if we can find someone to duel uh, who is going to be a rogue. So we'll go ahead and mount up here. And you'll see that we're just kind of in separate rooms, just like if it was WoW Arena. And uh, I have a lot of the same skills. So what I'm going to want to do is go straight to the pillar. I'm going to want to put down that portal. So we'll like come over here. We're going to put that portal down. And this guy is like not going stealth. There he goes. And we're going to get away from our, from our portal. So that way when he does jump on us, we can portal straight at, uh, over here and get away from his damage. So he's going on us. We're going to go ahead and spam our stun button. And then we're going to immediately fear him afterwards. Now he um, silenced us. Let's go ahead and teleport away. Uh, we'll use Corrupted Soul. Unfortunately, this guy is controlling us quite hard. If we can, uh, we'll get a dot off on him. I'm actually going to do it. I used my trinket there to try to get a dot off on him. Oh no. I think we're actually going to lose here. I don't know if warlocks can win 1v1s versus rogues. This is insane. And there we go. We did go down. So as you've seen, that was really imbalanced. Um, just like WoW, the game is not meant for those 1v1 scenarios. 
Um, but regardless, it's still fun. It's still cool that it's there. Um, but let's do, let's go again. Let's see if we can find somebody that isn't a really, really high rated rogue. Like he was 1600. The numbers are not the same as WoW. Like 1600 in this game is not the same as 1600 in uh, World of Warcraft. Uh, this guy at 1600 is actually quite high rated. I have not seen very many people uh, at that rating. Also, I'm realizing I never pulled my defensive cooldown down. So that's a problem. However, now it is down. Let's go ahead and get this down. Let's see if we can get a cheeky stun off immediately. No, we can't. So I was gonna see if I could like immediately pull him out, but unfortunately it didn't work twice. Do it again. Okay, he did get the end cap off on us. So what we're gonna do is wait for this stun and then immediately try to fear. I think it might've went off. I think that's why he's not coming out. I believe it did go off. All right, so we're just gonna trink it away. We're gonna try to fear immediately. Okay, we did get the fear off. Ah, oh, but he then trinketed it and kicked us. Now we're gonna use the defensive. Oh, what do I do here? This is difficult. I actually don't know if I can uh, kill rogues as a warlock. Like this is insanely difficult, I have to say. Which I think this is the same guy last time as last time. No, it's not actually. Damn, rogues are very good in duels, which I mean is to be expected. You know what? For the sake of showing you guys more of this game. Can I Q2v2 solo? Oh, here we go. Never mind. I don't need fart partners. It will let you look for other people. Good to know. I didn't know. I had only played with friends so far, so that's actually good to know. So let's see how long this Q takes. All right, in we go. So we have a rogue with us. So we are warlock and a rogue fighting a priest and a warlock. So what's going to happen here is we need to kill something really quickly. They can play the long game. They can play the long game because they have a healer and they have a rock character. So what we need to do is basically just be as aggressive as possible. My portal isn't actually super important here. My rogue just said to go lock, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, did my rogue just immediately get caught out? That's not good. We're just gonna run in and immediately encap this guy so we can start getting stuff off. We're gonna kick him, enhance our damage. Now we're gonna go ahead and try to fear. Uh oh. We're gonna try to feel. Oh, we're feared. Okay, I've gotta get out of this. I'm gonna use my defensive and just get away. Oh, and I still died. I had taken too much damage. The rogue just now went in as well, which is a little unfortunate. I don't know if I can switch camera views. I think I just have to watch from here at the moment. This game is in early access, by the way. And unfortunately, my partner does go down. Damn! fucked up on the first game but that's fine let's keep going all right now we're playing with morty the hunter and we're actually fighting the same two people but this time i have a different partner so let's see if the different partner makes any difference going in here um hopefully we're a little bit more in sync because we were definitely not in sync whenever we were doing the 2v2s with the rogue uh let's go ahead and put the portal down maybe it'll save us this time i'm just gonna immediately uncap this guy stop as much of his damage as possible we're basically going to do the same opener. However, we're going to be a bit more defensive now. We've done a ton of damage. So, something that's important to know is there's no mana in this game. Which means that healer can heal infinitely. However, healing isn't nearly as powerful. Like, you can see how long it's taking him to full heal his partner. It's going to take a while. So, while unfortunately there isn't a um, mana bar... Keeping your partner alive is not as easy as, as you would imagine. Alright, let's put our portal here. Let's be a bit more aggressive with our dots here. Mostly just because... Oh no, Morty's dying. Morty's gonna die. Oh, Morty. Rip Morty. Morty went a little too hard. That's the thing about fighting a warlock is it's kind of hard to die if you're playing super defensive like this. I'm just gonna try to dot these guys and live as long as I can just for the practice. Okay, we got silenced. We dodged the fear. Try to fear. Nope, in capped. All right, I'm just gonna let him kill him. Let's hop into a second game. <laughs> 
Oh no, so now we have two warlocks versus a rogue and a priest. My warlock friend says go rogue. So I guess we're gonna go rogue here. I always wondered why people say to go a specific target whenever you're playing a warlock, because I know it sounds weird, but I have never once seen Wait, is this indefinite? <gasps> I've been using like a defensive and it's indefinite? Oh my goodness, no way. Alright, let's try not to just die this time. Alright, I'm gonna try to get away from my portal here. And then portal over. Oh no, the rogue basically has like a... Oh, I don't know how to get away from this. That rogue is on me like glue, dude. I guess what I should have done there is use more CC. I guess whenever you're double warlock, whoever's taking the damage might want to focus more on CC, I suppose. I'm not 100% sure. Wait, the other one did 89 damage? All right, we have Ghoul the Rogue again. It's a Rogue and a Priest. Is this the same Rogue and Priest from last game? It might be. We'll see what ends up happening this time. Maybe Ghoul will surprise us this time. Maybe Ghoul will get in there and fuck him up. Portal's going down. I need to get away from my portal. So why doesn't the Ghoul not go stealth? Is that what that means? Is he stealth right now? That's gotta be what that means, right? Okay, so we did get stunned. We're gonna go ahead and dot this guy. We're kind of right by our portal, which is not where I want to be. This time I'm gonna spend a lot more time messing with the priest, especially with that 1v1 going on. Okay, we got CC'd. I'm actually, we're doing so good. I'm actually gonna let that CC just happen. Ah, oh, he was running at me. I should have known that he was gonna come in for a stun. That was absolutely my bad. We're not gonna let that be cast, though. Oh, there we go, there we go. Rogue's dead. Our other, our rogue's actually sitting pretty high health, too. And then he's just gonna wait to die. All right, cool. If this game, I don't know if this game has one. If this game does not have a surrender option, they need to add that, but all right, hell yeah, let's go. Ooh, Deem of the Rogue this time versus a mage and a priest. Okay. So I think what I'm gonna do is finish this game and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna swap it up and we're gonna go healer for the next couple. Portal's down. So that does mean he's stealth. That's gotta be what that is. Okay, we got a dot off. Oh, oh, you fool. He should not have done what he did there. That was rough. We're in a bit of a pickle. I mostly wanna control the mage here. Okay, it frost blocked, which is an interesting choice I feel. I don't know that it was in that much danger. It silenced me, but we're by pillar, so we're fine. Let's go ahead and fear it. Okay, we got the fear off. And maybe the priest dies here, actually. Is this it for the priest? I think priest dies. Yeah, priest is dead. Oh, let's LOS this guy. The only thing we need to not do right now is die. Like, literally, not dying is everything we need to do. And if he goes for the rogue, we just pop out. But like, right now, he's going for rogue, so we just pop out. We just go ahead and start dumping everything on him. And that should be it for him. Oh, he's going to frost block. Okay. We got two of our dots on him. Now we got, all, we got three. He's stunned. Rogue is going hard. We're going to stun him again. And he's dead. Nice. All right, we're gonna mix things up now. We're gonna queue as healer. 
Oh, that needs fixed. We just got queued into double healer. Uh, all right, so you can queue into double healer at the moment. So if you're gonna be a healer, you might wanna queue with a friend, because this is a little unfortunate. Doesn't mean we can't win. All right, so I just got out of another game, and unfortunately, I got another healer partner. So for right now, since the game just came out and they haven't quite fixed the double healer issue yet, if you're gonna queue healer, make sure you're queuing with a party because that's rough. And before we go ahead and end the episode, I wanna show you that there is a replay system. You can actually go back and watch the different games that you played. Like it actually does a really good job. You can move the camera around. You can even toggle the free cam and move around this thing, which is absolutely so, oh, I, I hit the wrong button. We went down there, didn't mean to do that. And I can just look, watch the game. And the fact that that's even in the game is super cool. And then the last thing I wanted to show you, if we go ahead and go to the main menu is I'm in a party with myself. But yeah, you can actually go over to the leaderboards and the game has an entire leaderboard section where you can go through and check out all of the current standings uh, for uh, duels, 2v2s, 3v3s, and then even versus bots, apparently. This game is super cool. It has a lot of potential. If you think that you even remotely want to play this game, get it. It's free, it's on Steam. I hope to see you in game. I wanna do more videos on it. If you like, comment and subscribe. Actually, don't pose that as a question. Uh. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.